Hello online, pipe community, Ethan Parsimonious Piper here, and we have another episode of YouTube Piper's Care to kick off the week back from the Columbus show. Normally, yes, normally we would have a morsels today with another Screw Tape Letters episode. Uh, we are missing one more week next Monday. We should be back with that, but let's, let's kick off the week by taking care of each other. Little uh, Briar Lee Bulldog Stroller, I think uh, they call it. It's a little nose warmer for strolling around in. Got some of that Dan Tobacco Ascanian Number no. 2 Vapor with Orientals. We will talk about that tomorrow. Today, today, we're going to talk about each other, the needs we have in the community and in our families. Tamper proof. His dad had major surgery on Thursday. It went really well. His dad is doing just fine. I had a very large tumor removed, and uh, and he is he's doing great now. Thanks for those of you who uh, who knew about that and had that family in your prayers. Miguel Santiago. Piper, the sailor man, and those of you who have been following him know that he had a stroke last year. He is doing rather well. His wife is dealing once again with COVID. Let's keep her in our prayers. Curmudgeon Piper, his dad's health had been failing for the last year or more. His dad passed away uh, last week. Um, uh, Monday, if I have it right, drop by and, uh, give Doug your condolences, but, uh, but also keep him in your prayers, um, this week, uh, not easy. Even when, even when a relationship has been strained, uh, over the years, uh, not this kind of a loss is, is definitely, definitely a hard one. Pipe smoking knife maker. Dwight said his mom was in a week ago for some tests. Uh, the good news is they did determine that there was no internal bleeding causing this chronic pain uh, that she's been having. They're not entirely sure, however, what is causing it. They think that it may be sciatic nerve damage. She's going to be having another round of tests. Uh, Dwight indicated that the... Um, uh, the pain meds that she is on are helping. Uh, they're not knocking it out completely. So uh, let, let's keep her in our prayers and, and hope those doctors figure out what's going on with her. Last, certainly not least, Corvette Jim. Tell you what, in that group of folks who could use a break... Corvette Jim has tried to get to the Ohio show for the Columbus show, a pipe show for a couple of years now. And something has come up each year. This year he was on his, uh, on his virtual way. No, he wasn't on his way quite yet. In the middle of the week, Jim was hospitalized. Now, Piper Ken and Onion, uh, maybe a couple of other guys have done more detailed follow-ups on on how Jim is doing. What I'll tell you is that after texting back and forth with him uh, on and off yesterday, um, he is doing, he's doing well now. And back to his normal cantankerous self. So um, those of you who are concerned, uh, thank you for, uh, for contacting me and letting me know that you hadn't seen him post in a couple of days, that sort of thing. You know, was there, was there something up? Yeah, there was, and and serious enough to get him hospitalized. Uh, but uh, but he is he is doing very well now. Uh, appreciate those of you uh, reaching out again. Like I said, I, keep him in your prayers. He's he's been having some ongoing up and down health issues, and uh, you know this getting older thing. It it ain't for sissies. Uh, we um, those of us who our Christians should know we are not promised a clean bill of health. We are not promised uh, an easy time of aging. In fact, we are, we're told that 
uh, that Jesus came to give us life and to give it more abundantly. Well, sometimes that abundance comes in the form of uh, some of life's negatives happen to us abundantly, just like they do to everyone else. And uh, and that's true of getting older too. And uh, Jim, Jim can certainly use your prayers. Well, folks, I need to get relit. It's a tasty blend. Tell you about it tomorrow. While I'm doing that, Light something you like. Let's support each other this week. Enjoy your afternoon.